Hello, everyone. I have a tiny home for you today, and I decided to build this in、um, Evergreen Harbor because I don't build here too often. <laughs> so that was the thought for this. So this home is designed with the tiny home pack, of course, and a lot of ever. You know the eco lifestyle, Evergreen Harbor, however you want to refer to it, stuff. I've wanted to do this as kind of a modern build, but with a natural element to it. And you will see that I struggled a little bit to figure out how that was going to work.、Um, I wanted to have a decent, like, eco footprint too with this, so I kept that in mind. As I chose how to do this, this build does use multiple packs. I'm not apologizing for it. I've been working on base game only builds with my Towny Refresh series. If you haven't seen that, I'll link to it here. I've had I've had fun with that, but I need these Friday builds to be my Multiple pack builds sometimes, so this may be a small house, but I shoved a whole lot of packs in this thing. But I like it; it's cute. It is like a studio. It doesn't have a bedroom. It just has living bedroom, kitchen, dining area, and of course, that means I use the Murphy bed. Which, looking back. I don't think I've ever used that in a build, so that was the other reason I really wanted to do this was to use that that bed. Okay, so that's part of the reason. One, I chose this lot because it is a smaller one in Evergreen Harbor, though most of them are small. So. There's that,、um, but I did want to keep this a very small build. Now this isn't a micro home; it is a tiny home, and so you get all the benefits with being a tiny home.、Uh, the one thing I will say with this house that I struggled a lot with is the roof. I wanted the modern look. I wanted. It to be interesting, and I accomplished that in the end. <laughs> But I play with this thing so much; it's ridiculous. I also play with this area a little bit, and I realized I really didn't like how that looked at all. So ended up putting a roof on this porch and using the island living glass tiles. I really wish they would put a set of those in base game, even if it's something that has like a decoration in it or something. They're just awesome to use on the flat roofs for glass. I do think, though I haven't tried it. I know you can put roofing on some of the, on some things, but I haven't tried the glass, so I might do that in a future build and see if it works. If you don't see it, it didn't work. So, anyway, as I said, here I am playing with the roof, and I finally decided, you know what? Let's put some windows in here, so at least it looks like it's supposed to be, you know, there for a reason. And I like that. I also like putting the metal siding on that part; creates a little more interest. And as I said, I wanted this to have a very natural look. Which is why on the gallery it is called Natural Tiny Home. If you're looking for that, my gallery ID name is Building Sims YT. If you would like to download this, I do always have that in the description of each video. By the way, in case you don't know or aren't sure where to find it or forget, but. 
I do link, or not link to it, but it's listed there. Because really, if you're downloading this, you're in the game. You're not going to, you know, through your browser to, to view these, these builds and download them. You're doing it through your game. All right, so here I played with a lot of different items to try to make this work from Keep It a Tiny Home. So I think that's what I found so much fun with this build is I was forced to think out of the box a little bit on these porches, you know, everything. And it was just, it was fun. It was a lot of fun to do this build. I like tiny homes, and I'll be honest, my original thought for this was, one, I want to do a tiny home in, you know, eco lifestyle, but it was also, this should be a quick build. Huh? It was not a quick build, okay? I mean, when I say quick, like two hours, okay? Two hours is quick. It took me five hours to do this build. <laughs> I spent, at one point, 45 minutes trying to figure out the roof, okay? That's why I said the roof was a problem. And that's why it's not a longer video, is because I cut most of that out. <laughs> because I didn't use it at all. I mean, I left in some, so you guys could see I played with it a little bit. But, yeah, the 45 minutes, most of that got cut out. So... The other thing was like windows in here. The curtains don't quite fit them. I'm aware. I really have just given up when it comes to curtains. I was trying not to use a ton of packs. It didn't work. I should have just put in better curtains. But I've already uploaded this. So it is what it is right now. And it's staying there. But... The other thing, I did play test this, everything works. That being said, the Murphy bed, you might have to move one of the chairs I put in if you don't want them climbing through the bed. So if you have a couple that moves in here, you may want to move that chair or get rid of it because they can't get into one side. And it's the side near the door. But I wanted to mention that while I'm thinking about it. Because if you've watched any of my other videos, sometimes I start talking. And I miss things. <laughs> so, I, I, uh, I do that. But with these, these builds, it's kind of easy to do. Because hopefully you guys are watching what I'm doing listening to me but you know mostly watching what I'm doing I I don't know sometimes I just run out of things to talk about with the builds like I'm doing right now because it's a tiny home there's not much going on here I think I cluttered it up pretty pretty dang well though very nice and decorated and I think it's cute. I do think it's cute. I originally was thinking it would be a starter home, but it's not. I believe it's like 33,000 simoleons. So it's not horrible. You could take out a few things. I think like the landscaping, like I put in some trees and stuff that you could probably take out. I know those aren't worth a whole lot, but as I said, like, this chair that I just put in is the one I was talking about. You may have to move that table back a little bit too. But there's a few things you could take out of here and make it less expensive. So if you want to make it a starter home, it wouldn't be difficult. That being said, there is another chair that goes into this living room. So yeah. I, I managed to get two in. I don't know how, being it's supposed to be a tiny home, but I did it. I'm proud of myself. And it all works. The other thing is, like, I put this little table thing under the window. 
I thought I grabbed the desk. I did not. It's a table. So that does move. And I think that's where I put the chair, the other chair, because the desk didn't work. I realized that. I didn't like it was more of the issue, but I also think it probably wouldn't have allowed the bed to come down. So, have to think about that when you use these Murphy beds, because those need to come down. Alright, so now I'm just kind of playing around, trying to figure out uh, what might look good under this table. I don't think I end up putting anything there. I think I gave up. <laughs> I also thought about moving the tile from the kitchen over into the dining area, but did not do that. I decided I liked the wood better. But, yeah, I... I think this ended up really cute. I did add a cute little, like coffee picture here and after doing that I was like oh we need a coffee station and I tried different things and then remembered I can't put a coffee pot on any of that <laughs> so use the cabinet <laughs> and the coffee pot will work for you it's fine I wish we could put those on some other items but we can't I did throw in an Instapot, and something else I did here was, because I expanded that wall, I did put in a little more cabinetry, and I don't show it in this build because I did it after recording. I put a bit, one of the big cabinets in the like floor-to-ceiling cabinets, and with that one, it completely disappears. So it does have a base cabinet in it as well. So at least you have the base cabinet sitting there. So there's something there. I really wish they just make it look right. You know, cut off the bottom of it so you could just put it on the shelving. So anyway, I wanted to add this kind of little coat rack storage space because you're in a tiny home. So there's not a lot of storage. So everything is, you know, all your furniture has to have storage capabilities. And I like it. I think one thing I don't use a whole lot of when building is this orange color. And I, I love it. I, I think this turned out so just fun. It's just a fun build. And... I will probably, again, use this. I, I keep saying that with, like, all my builds. I'm like, I'm going to use this at some point. The thing is, is I probably will at some point. I, right now, am playing in my, my save game file that I'm working on. I am playing in the trailer, the luxury trailer park I did. If you haven't seen that one. I will link to that one as well. That one is one of my most popular videos, and I understand why. It is a fun build to play in. It was fun to build. However, I will say if you download it and you have Eco Lifestyle, put in solar panels and the water collectors because that lot has a pool and a splash pad and a gym. And a greenhouse. Okay. Have I gotten you to want to click over to that video yet? I'll also link to the video in the description below. So, if you've now decided you wanted to watch that, it's down there. Alright, so here I decided with the landscaping just to try to keep it very green and simple. I didn't want to go too crazy with it. One, because I was putting some cute little garden pot pots out there. And two, because I just didn't like this flower look that I tried to do. <laughs> I liked just the, the green fern. That being said, I do a little bit on the outside 
or on the side of the house that has some flowers. So there's a little bit there. I had been debating about bringing this up on a platform, but then I decided I didn't like how the side porch was going to look to bring it down to ground level. And so decided not to. And then just, you know, went on from there, created this nice little, like, you know, patio grilling area. I do put a grill in, I promise. Um, and of course, like I said, I put some eco lifestyle stuff out here. So, and I ended up not connecting this fence. And that is what led to some flowers over here. Because when you connect the fence, the size of the house changes because fences are walls. So, in order to keep tiny home status, I had to keep one part of the fence disconnected from the house, so that's why that bush is there. And that led to the rest of the side being landscaped a little more. Now, I did not put anything on the outside of this fence. I... I thought about putting bushes, and I just went, you know, I like the fence. So, if you want to put bushes around it, do it. But I liked seeing the fence. I do wish we could take the fence all the way up to the edge of the lot. Because with this one having the, you know, kind of sidewalk thing there, that would make a little more sense to me. But, like, even, like, little flower garden type thing along there would be cute. I just, that's not the look I was going for. So, all right, we are coming up to the end of the build. I'm just doing finishing touches, fixes, and we are done. I had a lot of fun building this, and I hope you will have a lot of fun playing in it. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the photos. Be right back. It was short. I probably could have talked through it, but I didn't. Again, I hope you like this house. Let me know your favorite part of it or what you would have done differently. You know, let me know in the comments below. And I am going to let you go and I will see you on Tuesday for the third installment of the Tony Refresh series. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye now.